example, maps. Uh, the quote by Buddha that says all that we are is the result of we have thought, it made me think a little bit more positively about myself so that um, I can continue to be a better person. I'm so with you. I've thought of that quote so many times because what I think, okay, I better be careful about what my thoughts are because Buddha said what we think we become. So that's going to make you control that, isn't it? And we want to move in the path of truth and what's right. That is so good. I'm glad you picked that one. Okay, over here, what's one that you've applied to your life? I love number five, History's Not History Unless It Is the Truth by Abraham Lincoln. Because you just, you have to find the real history and the ancient civilizations to learn about history. But if you just find something crappy, then it's... Yeah. If it, it look, if it's something somebody made up because they have an agenda and it's not the truth, even if the truth hurts, right? Like the issue of slavery, for example. You know, we gotta see it and tell it for what it is and address it from there. So it's gotta be the truth, even if it hurts, and we learn from it. If we just sugarcoat everything, Abraham Lincoln's right. It's not his truth. Okay, all right, let me hear yours, Jordan. Um I agree with what Max said, that the Buddha quote, that all that we are is the result of what we have thought. But what I thought was a more powerful quote was the one by Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I am with you on and that. And I've used that because I've had bad grades in the past. And I've, whenever I had learned this quote, I had realized that Nelson Mandela was right. And education is the most powerful weapon. And all of these smart people, like Max said, Bill, like the, how he wants to be Bill Gates, they, they've all shaped the world in their own unique way. Yeah, and hopefully it's, it's meaningful because they've shaped it to make the world a better place. Which that goes, by, that goes back to how I started this school year out. That's why I'm a teacher. That answers the question why I am. Who can tell me what... The whole concept, which goes back to education, and unless you use that education to make the world a better place, what does it matter? So somebody tell me what was the very first quote of the year and how it connects back to why anybody would really be excited about the, the prospect of change in the world. Go ahead. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of true education by Martin Luther King Jr. Okay, help me to connect to why that would be something that's so important why you show up at school every day because well you can you can be smart but you could probably be the meanest person in the world and you wouldn't get anywhere in life because nobody would would want to be with you and you want to be success, success successful yeah. so you have to have good character plus the smart uh, plus <laughs> you don't have to be uh, Albert Einstein but you still have to be smart enough to realize I need to make these choices and uh, do something good in my life you're so uh, I tell you Miranda you are right on spot Shelby help me with that well, one of them part of the course week was number four a journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step by Leo to and that's who we're going to learn about in China. He comes from China. I love that one too. Tell me how that has impacted you. Because if you want to start something, it has to start with a single step. And to begin it, basically, you have to start with a single step. You, absolutely. Even this new semester, right? We might think, okay, oh, oh we got to go till June, right? But the fact of the matter is, we're taking that first step right now today. And when you look back to the first semester, didn't it kind of go fast? Yeah. It really did. And so sometimes the journey looks really, really long, but you better enjoy the journey. And so can you think of like a personal example where you thought, okay, I know i got a long way to go with this, and you applied that quote? Well, math, because math I'm doing better than Good. Math. So you're thinking to yourself, okay, this math problem might be hard, but the more I do it, this is the first step on the journey. And I'm, do you feel more confident? So it's like, okay, I just got to take the steps. That's all. Excellent, excellent. Emily, Emily, give me um, one. Number one. Okay. Read it to me. One man can make a difference. Every man should try. John F. Kennedy. So why does one man can make a difference? Every man should try. How does that inspire you? Because you should like 
try stuff like on the FCAT everybody like try to like get a higher score than what they had. Yeah, and if you don't at least try, yeah, you might be like, oh, I'm just one girl, I'm just one little person, what do I matter? But what if everybody said, I'm not even going to try? It would make, it would really hurt the whole scores for our whole school, wouldn't it? But even beyond that, what about making a difference in the world, right? Okay, all right, so I'm only going to do a couple more, and then we got to move on to our reflection. Yes? Um, my favorite book is from Mahatma Gandhi. It's an eye for an eye with everyone blind. That's my favorite, one of my favorite quotes because um, people, whenever people are mean to each other, they get back at each other and they just want to go on and on until they get the last hit. And it just hurts people. Like, they hurt each other and they lose more things. Yeah, you know what? I've thought about that. Like,